Friday, November 9, 2018, 12 p.m., 48 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 p.m., 52 degrees Fahrenheit, 5-day forecast. Rick Scott files suit accusing Dem officials in Florida of trying to steal the election after his narrow Senate victory, while a mystery ballot box is found two days after the vote. Then Trump wades in I don't want prayers, I want gun control. Mother of Vegas massacre survivor makes heartbreaking plea after her son is among the 11 killed at Borderline Bar, where Stephen Paddock's victims gathered to support each other. High-ranking NYPD cop who cracked the Queen's jogger case recalls his dramatic first encounter with the man who brutally raped and strangled Karina Vetrano ex-Filipino First Lady Imelda Marcos, 89, faces years behind bars as court finds her guilty of seven counts of corruption when her husband was in office and issues warrant for her arrest Democrat mom of black teen shot dead by a white man at a gas station in row over a loud music wins long-standing Republican U.S. House seat after her emotional campaign calling for gun control Michelle takes on Trump, Obama slams misogynist president for his treatment of Hillary, says she can't forgive his reckless birther talk and claims the access Hollywood p asterisk 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 why gate tape was him saying, I can hurt you and get away with it Whitey Bulger's politician brother and jailed girlfriend's twin sister led just a dozen mourners at murdered mobsters low-key funeral Democrats demand Florida recounts which could hand governorship to Andrew Gillum after all and return Senate seat to Bill Nelson harrowing. Video from inside the borderline bar shows ex-Marine with PTSD, 28, firing shot after shot at his victims as he carries out his massacre which killed 11 tattooed ex-Marine who killed 11 people in country music bar massacre had PTSD, gunman, 28, terrified his mother and neighbors after returning from Afghanistan to her before he opened fire on student night I WASNT afraid to sacrifice myself, quick thinking hero saved dozens of lives by smashing a window with a bar stool and pushing people to safety to escape Ex-Marine shooter, yeah? I'm insane, but the only thing you people do after these shootings is hopes and prayers. Final chilling Facebook post of ex-Marine with PTSD that he wrote moments before he gunned down 11 Our hearts are broken. Sister, sister actress Tamara Mowry Housley reveals her 18-year-old niece was killed in a California bar mass shooting pictured, an aspiring soldier, too. Bouncers and multiple students are among the 11 killed after California bar mass shooting its Kendall's night. Jenna rules the Victoria's Secret runway with her fun, flirty attitude as she dazzles alongside BFFs Gigi and Bella Hadid while Elsa Hosk proudly parades the $1 million fantasy bra Adriana Lima breaks down in tears while on Victoria's Secret runway. After confirming her exit following 19-year reign Victoria's Secret models have fun as they take selfies and goof around backstage at fashion show Paradise Lost, Raging Rapid Wildfire reduces California City to ashes as Inferno sparks evacuation of 27,000 residents burning down a hospital, a gas station, hundreds of homes and leaving multiple people dead I love the idea of nearly being caught, sales professional in her 30s reveals why she has been secretly cheating on her vanilla husband for five years Saudi Arabia considers disbanding oil production Cartel OPEC amid growing pressure following Trump criticisms and Jamal Khashoggi murder I can't afford to move to Washington, socialist hero Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez reveals she needs to cash her first paycheck from $174,000 house salary next year before she can get a DC apartment from sleeping with your boss to getting frisky with a friend. Therapist the codes what your sex dreams really mean outrage is registered. Nurse and ex-police officer went to vote wearing a shirt emblazoned with a noose, Confederate flag in the phrase Mississippi Justice, and it's totally legal, but it did cost him his job, Utah man, 55, who allowed bats to fly into his house and fed them from his bare hands becomes the state's first rabies death since 1944 government ministers are looking at repealing the Swedish derogation rule it's a model of working that sees agency employ temporary workers directly but Treasury fears it could anger businesses who are unimpressed with idea more than 5 million people are likely to be working in gig economy by 2022 by Mark Jewell for Mile Online published, 3.39 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of November 2018, updated, 3.49 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of November 2018 The rights of gig economy workers are set to be given a boost as firms are made to pay agency staff the same amount as their full-time colleagues. Prime Minister Theresa May plans to end a legal loophole that allows companies to pay different types of workers alternative amounts for doing the same job.
Ministers are now considering repealing the Swedish derogation rule, which is a model of working that sees an agency employ temporary workers directly. Research for takeaway provider Deliveroo suggested that the gig economy has the potential to double in size over the next five years. However, there are concerns within the Treasury that this could anger businesses who are unimpressed when the idea was first suggested, reported The Guardian. The plans include new laws to give gig economy workers the right to request a temporary or fixed hours contract after a year in their job. There are also proposals to deter employers who are trying to flout the law by naming and shaming those who fail to pay out after employment tribunals. It follows Labour's proposals in September for better rights for workers including more places on company boards and employees getting a financial stake in firms. Prime Minister Theresa May plans to end a legal loophole that allows companies to pay different types of workers alternative amounts for doing the same job. The government's plans come as a report released today revealed more than 5 million people are likely to be working in the so-called gig economy by 2022. Research for takeaway provider Deliveroo suggested that the sector has the potential to double in size over the next five years. Students, parents and carers are set to be among the biggest groups to take advantage of new jobs, said the report. A Deliveroo spokesman said, The world of work is changing and the flexibility that comes with companies like Deliveroo is hugely popular and is set to grow. Advertisement breed more, female today don't miss.